Now, that was a scenario where we were able to use up all the ink, but it's not that simple. There are scenarios where, let's say, that we have too much ink here, okay? Now, let's create that situation. Okay, I saved us a little time by uh, creating this same situation here, the base colors and the ratios for this formula uh, below here and not go through the process of you seeing me create that grid and clean it up a little bit, okay? But here's the thing. Uh, we're going to try 400 pounds, the math with 400 pounds now. Instead of 25 pounds of work off, we're going to act like we have 400 pounds of work off. Right? And we're going to use the same formula, that color, that custom color, and we're going to calculate for 400 pounds what are the, the amounts of the warm, the rubin red, and the reflex blue that are in there, okay? And so I didn't want to save time on this one. I wanted to go through the math to reinforce what we're doing here rather than go ahead and put in those values there. So 400 times the ratio of the warm red times 0 0.68 equals 272 pounds. 400 times the ratio of the rubin 0.226 equals 90.4 pounds, okay? And then finally, 400 times 0 0.094 equals 37.6 pounds, okay? Now, I try to create a scenario here where uh, there was too much ink in the work-off for the new ink that we're trying to blend, okay? Now, on the, on the one hand, it's very obvious because we got... 400 pounds of work off and we got 200 pounds of new ink. So we're not, we're not going to use a, 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 all the work off. But there are situations where we could have a little bit of work off and a significant amount of, amount of ink. And because one of the more, or more of the components in there uh, is so much higher than what's over here, you can only lose, use a little bit of the work off. So uh, you can't always take for granted that if you have more work off than new ink, that you're not going to be able to, or rather, that if you have less work off the new ink that you're going to be able to use it all, you can. So, but I made it dramatic here just so that it's obvious. And then we're going to actually look at how can we know mathematically whether or not we have too much work off and how much of that work off can we use, okay? So now, if you look here, if we were to use all the work off, we'd be adding 272 pounds of warm red when what we need is 100 in the new ink. So that doesn't make sense, okay? All right. So now it's like, well, how do I uh, figure out what, how much of this uh, uh, I can put in there? This is it. Now we're going to let the genie out of the bottle, okay guys? Check this out. We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to calculate a couple of, a couple of sets of ratios, okay? We're going to take the ratios... ratios of the amounts of the base colors, each of the base colors in the new ink divided by that same base color in the work off ink and we're going to generate one for each one of those, uh, a set for each one of them here and then over here and we're going to do a comparison, okay, now watch, let's just do it. Uh, so the, uh, we're going to do the new, new over work off, right? each base, the ratios of each base, let's call it like that, new versus work off. So this is what it looks like. 100 divided by 17, and we're going to put them here. How's that? We're going to put them here so we can compare the values, okay? Okay, so in this case, 100, the amount and the amount here, 100 divided by 17 is... 5.88, and these are the ratios, okay, of the amounts. 60 divided by 5.65 equals 10.62, okay? 40 divided by 2.35, 17.5. Two. 
And I know this is taking time, but if I can do this, you can watch, all right? So now, now let's do something else. So let's do 100. Now, this is the set of ratios of the base amounts of the new versus work off for this scenario. Now we're going to do the same thing for this scenario using these same numbers here, but these numbers here. So 100 divided by 272 is 0.368. Sixty divided by ninety point four zero point six six four and finally forty divided by thirty seven point six forty divided by thirty seven point six equals one point zero six Four. All right. Now, here it is. So don't let it pass by you like one red light in a small town. The test for whether all of a work off can be used in a new ink is that every ratio is greater than one. When every ratio of the amounts required for the new ink, of the base amount, over the base amount in the work off ink, when every one is greater than one, all of them, all the work off can go into that ink. Alright? Now, when, if, if, at least one is over one, it's out. You can't do it, okay? I'm sorry, let me put it the other way. If, if uh, you have any that are less than one, if any, if any are less than or equal to one, or less than, greater than or equal to one, if any of them are less than one, you can't do it. Let me see. Less than or equal to. Greater than. If that's one up there, it can be used. Okay, so up here, if the ratios are greater than or equal to one, you can use all the work off. If, all the, if any of the ratios are less than one, you cannot use it. Okay? So that's it. Write it down. Think about that. Okay? Get that. I'm not going to repeat it. Rewind it if you need to repeat it. Now watch this. That's good. Now we know how to tell uh, if we can use all the work off. And now we know here that we can't use all the work off. We knew it intuitively, and now we know it mathematically by this rule. Okay, but here's the thing. How much of it can I use? That's where now we are able to do this. And this is all you have to do. 